Hey, this is Brock from Ears, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the software necessary to run Model Sim and Quartus to synthesize for an Altera or now Intel FPGA. And so this is the software that we use to teach uh, VHDL and also FPGA design associated with the Introduction to Logic Circuits and Logic Design textbook that I wrote. Okay, so first and foremost, um, before we go figure out where to get this software, we are going to target an FPGA that is created by the company Intel. Okay. And so Intel purchased a company called Altera. So you'll see Altera mentioned in a lot of different things, but right now the company that makes the, the FPGAs is called Intel. So they provide free software so that you can design digital systems to be implemented on their FPGAs so that you'll buy their FPGAs. They have a free version of the software, and then they also have a more commercial grade version of it. <clears throat> but it's important to know that you don't just go out and grab a tool to send the size for an FPGA, you grab the tool that targets the specific FPGA you're after. Okay. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out here and we get the software from Intel. All right. And I'll talk about what software is software you want as we go here. Okay. So when I get to Intel's web page, you go into products and then you come down here into the FPGAs and programmable devices. Okay, and then right here you see Intel Cordis Prime Design Software. <laughs> when you click on that page, what it's gonna have here is it's gonna talk about the software, but it's gonna give you three options of what to design or what to download. Cordis is the name of the overarching tool that does the synthesis. Synthesis is where you take VHDL or Verilog and you hit a you create a project and that's your and it basically takes your hardware description language description of your, your design and it synthesizes or creates the gate level implementation and it maps those digital gates into the fabric of the FPGA. So this is like a, it just like magic, right? I mean, and then it gives you a file that you actually download to the FPGA. And so it's got the Cordis Prime, uh, Cordis Standard and Cordis Light. Light is what we want. That is free. There's no license required. And it also comes with a tool called Model Sim. Model Sim is used to simulate your VHDL. Okay, so I'm gonna click on Cordis Prime Light Edition. And what's gonna, what you're gonna see here is first of all, it gives you what version you want. It always goes to the most recent release. Always get the most recent release. If you have a Linux machine, you're actually supported. Notice there's no Mac button. So get rid of your Mac and get a Windows machine. All right, so now you're gonna come down here and you can do it a couple different ways. But what I've found over the years is it's just easy to just download the three files that you need for this, this course or this particular FPGA. Here they are. You're gonna download them individually, okay? Cordis Prime, all right? So that is the synthesizer software. And it includes this thing called a NIOS 2. All that is is a, a soft microprocessor that you can put on the FPGA. Uh, we're not using that in this video. <clears throat> Here's your model sim. Model sim is you write VHDL or Verilog and you can simulate it and look at the waveforms and make sure it works. But then down here also is you have to download the device support for the FPGA that you're gonna target. Okay, so if you're targeting a Cyclone 4 FPGA, download that one. If you're targeting a Max 10, download this one. You can download all of them, but there's really no need because they're, they're huge. And so you really only ever design, download the device support for the, the one that you're using. So we are targeting this guy right here. This is called the DE10 Lightboard. This is 55 bucks academic. And this is what we learn. Uh, <clears throat> this is what we learn on. So we write VHDL for basic digital circuits. We download it on here. We have inputs from switches and buttons. We look at the hex displays in LEDs and we learn how to be digital system designers and FPGA designers. Okay, so that's the one we want. It is called the Max 10 FPGA that's on there. And if you don't know that, you look at the, just look at the chip and it'll tell you. But what I wanna do is I'm gonna download these three files and I'm gonna do it separately. And they're gonna be three big old files that sit on uh, in the same folder. And when you go to install it, as long as they're in the same folder, when you launch the Cordis install, it finds the model sim file and it finds the device support and it automatically installs it. So that's the great thing about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Cordis Prime download. And now you have to sign in. So this is where you need to register for a new account. It's free. It's just gonna, you're just gonna tell it that it's a academic account and you're off and running. So I already have an account, so let me log in here. Okay, so. <whistles> mm. 
Sign in. Okay, so it takes a second, kind of pops me back to the same, looks like it pops me back to the same screen. <clears throat> Make sure though, if it changed anything, which it did for me, <laughs> I go back here and said light and whatever the most recent version was. Okay, so Windows, so I'm back to the same screen I was before after I've signed in, and now I'm ready to do this. So I'm gonna hit download on this, and it's 1.6 gigs, right? So it's long, it's a big one, okay? Model sim is 1.2 gigs. Uh, the device support is about 300 megs. So th this is not a small program. This is gonna take a minute to download. So uh, what I'll do is I'll stop the video while these download, and we'll go from there. So after I get done with this one, I'm gonna download Model Sim, and then I'm gonna download this Max 10 FPGA de design support, and then I'll have three little files right here. Okay, so let's wait for that. All right, so here's my three little files. Uh, it, you know, it didn't take too long. It was a couple, couple minutes I have on pretty good Wi-Fi. So what I'm gonna do is these three need to be in the same directory, and you probably could install it from here since they're in the, the download directory, but I'm just gonna drag these to my desktop so I know exactly where they are. Uh, and then <clears throat> that way I don't have to go hunt for them later. So here I am, I've got my Cordis Lite, I've got my Model Sim, and I've got my Max 10, and now you install it. So all you do is double click on Cordis. Make sure to do Cordis. You don't double click on Model Sim, you click on Cordis, and what Cordis will try to do is it will install itself, it will then look to see if Model Sim is here, and if it is, it will install it. Then it will look and see if uh, any devices are here, and then it will allow, it will install those devices, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then this is pretty standard install. You just basically sit here and here it goes. <clears throat> and I'll kind of pause this during times of like long waits. <laughs> so you don't have to sit here. So it finally comes up, it flashes, and it's like, oh, and then, you know, I'm showing you how to install something. You've done this a billion times. Except the default location, always on this stuff. And now here, here's where you have this sweet, it noticed those files. So it's got Cordis Prime Lite free. That's what we want. Under devices, it's gonna put the Max 10 FPGA, beautiful. And it's gonna have Model Sim free. So that is, that is money right there because it saw the the three files. It saw the two additional files. So now I'm gonna sit here and just wait for it to go and I'll pause it to make to let it work. And okay, we, it is now installed. And that took a long time. That was almost a half an hour on my computer. <laughs> so get prepared to sit. Uh, so the final screen that comes up is gonna be launch USB Blaster 2 driver installation, create shortcuts on desktop, launch Cordis Prime Lite Edition. So it's like, uh, you want to do the USB Blaster 2 driver installation. The USB Blaster refers to the drivers that are used to download your f ultimate bitstream onto the FPGA. And it's, and it's kind of a multiple step process, which we'll go through most of it right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and finish this and then see what happens. Okay, so here we go. Welcome to device driver installation wizard. Okay, so I'm gonna go next. And it's going to say, let's install some drivers. So it's installing. Drivers were successfully installed and you can now connect your device. If you're at came with instructions, please read them first. So I go ahead and hit finish. Here is the trick to all this. Uh, so, and then I also uh, chose to start this. The trick on the USB drivers is this. They are installed right now on your machine, but when you plug in the FPGA for the first time, it's going, you have to go out and actually do a manual install uh, in order to tell it where it is, okay? And so we'll cover that later. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run the Cordis Prime software. Yeah, I'll run the Cordis Prime software. Let's see, run it. Can't connect in the NTL. I need to run the Cordis Prime. Okay. Oh, I didn't click that little radio button. Okay, so I'm gonna launch it from the, the start menu. So if we come out to the start menu, menu, you go down and it's under Intel, okay? Because that's the manufacturer. So let me go down here and you see you have Intel FPGA Lite Edition and you open that up and you got a whole bunch of stuff. So the two that you care about are gonna be Cordis and Model Sim. So if you hit Cordis, what'll happen is it'll bring up the design software and here it is. And so this is your professional grade 
FPGA design software, and I'm not going to create a uh, project right now. I'll do that in a different video, but you now can launch Quartus Prime and it didn't need a license. All right. Awesome. Let's look at what model sim looks like. So I come down here and I get myself a little, uh, little model sim action here, da, 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 da. right there. Model sim. Here it is. Model sim mentor. Mentor graphics is the original company that made it. And here comes your model sim. <laughs> Here's what's funny about the old model sim. It's like from 1970s. Okay. So it's interface has not changed since I was first a design engineer over 20 years ago, but it works. All right. So that is actually it. So we have now installed Cordis. We installed model sim. We installed the drivers for the DE10 light board, evaluation board that we'll use to learn how to program FPGAs and VHDL. More specifically, we installed the drivers for the DE10 Max FPGA family. Okay, so now you're ready to go. And in a different video, I'll show you how to get started with Model Sim and how to get started with Cordis. All right, see ya.